All right, here are five things to know on this Friday morning. Survivors and families of those who died in the Lewiston mass shootings want the U.S. Department of Defense to conduct a deeper investigation into the months prior to the shootings. They sent a letter to Maine's members of Congress asking them to pressure the Department of Defense to look into whether the U.S. Army and the Army Reserve did everything it could to keep guns out of the hands of the shooter who was an Army Reservist. The Reserves issued its own report earlier this week admitting that mistakes were made both within the ranks and among civilian agencies. The families say the scope of that that investigation, though, was too narrow. Two people are dead after a plane crash in the town of Trenton. Federal Aviation Administration officials say a Cirrus SR-22 coming from Morristown, New Jersey, crashed north of the runway at the Bar Harbor Hancock County Airport. A look at the FAA time-lapse camera on the area shows that the fog and low clouds that you see in this video were similar to the conditions at the time of the crash. Investigators say the two people on board died in the crash. Their names have not been released. The Cumberland County Sheriff's Office says the man accused of shooting a teen in Harrison was released from jail on bail. The alleged shooter, Vincent Martin, is prohibited from having or using dangerous weapons or guns. Deputies say Martin shot a teen who was with some other teens who were ringing doorbells and then running away. The teen was treated for a minor injury before being released from the hospital. The Sheriff's Office says he was issued a cease harassment notice and a trespass warning. Martin faces multiple charges as well. Some people in Cape Elizabeth are threatening legal action against the town council over competing proposals to renovate the school buildings. There will be two proposals on the ballot after a public hearing on Monday. One includes renovations to several schools and a brand new middle school costing $90 million. The school board approved that plan. The other proposal would cost $42 million in renovations and no new middle school. That plan was proposed by the council chair but rejected by the school board. Some people sent a letter about possible legal action yesterday citing state law that gives school boards sole power over the care and repair of school buildings. They say it makes the second proposal illegal. You've still got a few days to check out some movies at the Maine Outdoor Film Festival in Portland. There will be outdoor screenings every night through Sunday on the Eastern Prom and at the Gulf of Maine Research Institute. Organizers say the event is a celebration of both nature and storytelling. The festival is also hosting panel events and additional screenings at Maine Studio Works, which is uh, a, a photography studio in Portland.